I'm Lindsay, the trial garden manager for Renee's Garden Seeds. And today I wanna to show you methods of growing cilantro to keep it from bolting. We get quite a few inquiries from gardeners that they sowed their cilantro and it just bolted right away. Um, by bolting, I mean you sow your cilantro and it just flowers and wants to go to seed right away. So I wanna show you methods to grow your cilantro to keep that cilantro from happening. Cilantro is a cool season herb. It likes to grow in cooler weather. So you can start sowing your cilantro in early spring when the weather is still really mild and you'll choose a site in full sun and then you'll prepare your bed. If you wanna grow so, cilantro later in the season when the weather is warming up, you'll definitely wanna choose a site with afternoon shade so it remains cool. So the first thing you wanna do is prepare your bed. You want to prepare a really nitrogen rich soil to grow your cilantro. High nitrogen soils will keep your cilantro growing really leafy and inhibit it from going to flower so fast. So here I've added a couple buckets full of really well broken down compost and I'm also adding a really high nitrogen dry fertilizer and I'm going to mix this all in the bed. So my soil here in the trial garden is super sandy so I add a lot of compost. The compost adds a good amount of nitrogen and kind of makes the soil like a sponge so it'll stay it'll hold moisture and if you have a more dense more clay soil adding a good amount of compost makes your soil have a better structure and increases the drainage which is also really great for your plants. So I have my compost and fertilizer broadcasted across the bed and I'm going to dig it in and mix up the soil really well. Two things that cause cilantro to go to seed fastest are hot weather and depleted soil. So if you can provide a cool environment and a nitrogen rich soil, then you'll have much better luck keeping your cilantro nice and leafy for an extended amount of time. So I've got my bed all prepared with my compost and high nitrogen fertilizer. So now I'm ready to sow the seed. Plant one to two inches apart. I've got my seeds all sown in their wide rows. So this soil that I scraped away, I'm going to put it back over the top of the seeds and then firm it lightly over the top so it gets good soil contact. And so when I water, the seeds won't move all around. Then I'll move on to the next row and make sure everything's sown and then we'll water in. So I have the cilantro seeds sown in the rows along the drip tape and we'll go ahead and water it in afterwards. One thing I wanna to mention to you is cilantro grows really fast. So if you want a constant supply, you can sow in succession. And that's why I have my bed here marked off in three different sections. So I will let this bed germinate and grow for a couple weeks, and then I'll move on and sow again in the middle section. And by the time this is growing, this side will be ready to harvest. This section is germinating. Then you'll move on and sow the next section. So you'll have a succession of plants to harvest. So I'm gonna water this in thoroughly with a really light spray. So my seeds don't move around. And we'll make sure to keep it moist, but not too soggy while it's germinating. And then we'll come back in a couple weeks to see how it looks. And I'll show and you I'll how to thin your seeds so that they have enough room, so they're not stressed out, so they won't bolt. So here we are back to our patch of cilantro. This is our first section of our succession garden. So this is in order to keep a constant supply of cilantro going. We've sown our first patch of cilantro and you can see it's come up really nicely in my wide bands along the drip tape. And so at this point, I can start thinning. And you can see, you remember I talked about the little seeds that are actually a fruit that, containing many seeds. You can see where each one came up, there's multiple little seedlings in each little group. So I'm going to want to go through and thin these out to about three or four inches apart. And that way the roots have plenty of room to grow and each plant will grow a nice thick rosette and they won't be too close and get stunted, which causes them to bolt. I like to start out with a little measuring tape along my row here, and I'll go ahead and thin out to three or four inches apart. So each little rosette has enough room. 
And you can even use these little thinnings in your salads. So I'm thinning out these seedlings that are coming up really close together. I'm thinning them to just one seedling. So I have a section here all thinned out to the proper spacing so that will give each little seedling enough room to form a nice big rosette full of leaves. So since it's been a couple weeks since I've sown my first stand of cilantro, I'm going to go ahead and sow my next succession right next to it. And then once this is germinated and ready to thin out, this will probably be ready to start harvesting. So we'll come back and look at that when it's ready. So here we are at our succession garden patch of cilantro. And this is about six weeks after sowing my first plot here. And it's ready for a cut now. So I can go ahead and cut as much as I want. I'm going to cut about half of this patch. And I cut and leave uh, a couple inches above the crown and so that they will grow back from the center. So I cut about half of this stand of cilantro. So this is enough for me to make some salsa or I can juice some of it and put some of it in my salad. So after you cut your cilantro back, if you supplement with a little bit of high nitrogen fish emulsion liquid fertilizer, this will encourage it to grow back nice and leafy again. And then when I'm ready, I can continue on and cut back this older cilantro to use again. And then you can see the second stand I had sown a few weeks ago is growing really nice. So then we'll go ahead and thin this out. And then I can also go ahead and sew a third stand so that when this spot is ready to cut, I have another one going. And so that makes an extended harvest. So to review our tips for growing successful cilantro, it's best to start in the cool season, providing a spot in full sun. And if you start in uh, the warmer part of the season, you want to provide a spot in morning sun with afternoon shade because too much heat is stressful for cilantro and that will cause it to flower. And next, you want to provide a well amended bed for your cilantro. It wants a soil that's very high in nitrogen to promote that leafy growth that you want. So what I did was I put lots of compost and a dry high nitrogen fertilizer. And the compost helps to retain water um, in a drier soil. If your soil tends to dry out, cilantro doesn't like to dry out. And in a more compact soil, it provides aeration, which helps the roots really spread out. And then lastly, if you want a constant supply of cilantro, you can grow in succession like I have here, where you sow one patch and when that's growing, a couple weeks later, you can sow another patch. And then when you're harvesting one, you can sow another patch and you have a constant supply coming on. So Renee's has several options for cilantro packets. We have our conventional regular packet. We have an organic regular packet. And if you want to grow lots of cilantro, we've got our organic bonus pack. So this is great if you want to grow in succession and have a constant supply of cilantro coming on. So I hope you found all these pro tips helpful and that you'll also be successful growing your cilantro garden. Thank you for watching.